I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. Cobra has finally, finally entered the FM game, and they have entered it with a big old bang, just like I knew they would. It's the Cobra 29 LTD Night Watch AM and FM dual mode, 4 watts power, 40 channels, and the cool Night Watch illumination. I have owned a lot of Cobra 29s in my life, but I've never had one that had FM mode, and I can't wait to get into this. I really appreciate them sending this my way. You know I love to review CB radios, and you know that I've been wanting to review Cobra stuff for a long time, so this is a great opportunity. And I hope you'll be as excited as I am as I check this thing out tonight. Let's take a look at the box here. Dual mode AM, FM, easy to use controls, instant channel 9 and 19, adjustable receiver sensitivity, SWR antenna calibration. On the back here, this is what I love about this particular model, the, the backlit display. Uh, it's just so cool when you're driving in a car at night or in a truck at night and you've got the CB on, in the old days, you would just literally see like the little green or the little transmit light plus the channel selector and your meter. This is so cool because it backlights everything. You can see and read. You know where the dials are. You know what's going on. It's just cool. And we'll get to experience that. I'll turn the lights down here in a bit and we'll get to go through it. But clear communication with AM and FM. Get 4 watts power, 40 channels plus dual mode AM, FM to communicate clear with better quality sound. I have no doubt about that. Easy to operate, ergonomic design with intuitive controls makes this easy to use and operate. Instant access to channel 9 and 19. Adjustable receiver sensitivity, easily adjust RF gain sensitivity or squelch background noise for the best possible signal. SWR antenna calibration, it adjusts and calibrate SWR meter for optimum antenna performance. And night watch illumination, controls the desired brightness to eliminate eye fatigue during nighttime driving. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And, of course, it comes with a mic and a power cord and all the rest. Let's get the camera up in closer. We'll unbox this thing, and then uh, we'll plug it in on the bench here and see how it performs. Let's here do it. Here we are. A nice, hefty box. I'm really happy to see how big this thing is. We'll go ahead and open it up. And get everything laid out here. So you can see just what you're getting. Cobra 29, literally like the iconic of iconic radios when it comes right down to it. You just don't get any more iconic than the 29. The go-to radio for truck drivers for I don't know how many generations now and constantly making improvements. So cool to see them here in the 21st century embracing new technology while keeping the classic look. I mean this is the classic radio. This thing looks and I have no doubt performs like a classic radio. The good old-fashioned Cobra emblem, Cobra symbol. Nice I like that. I don't remember the last Cobra I bought. I think I had 29 from about five years ago that I picked up. And that was black, so I like the kind of chrome that's on that. That looks cool. And, of course, it's your standard four-pin Cobra mic, so this is going to be compatible. If for some reason you don't like this, there are a variety of power mics out there available to replace it with. And we've got our mic holder and mounting screws for that. And I'll go ahead and get this out of here. Oh. Zip tie on that. There we go, and we got this, which is our power cord, a nice long power cord here. Looks like about two and a half, three feet maybe. Let me get it undone. I'll show you here. Man, so cool to work with Cobra. Cobra, I mean, like in the in the eighties and nineties and, and early two thousands, you were nobody unless you had yourself a a one forty two or a two thousand, you know, sitting around. And, Boy, the 2000s are still highly sought after. I wonder if Cobra would someday make a base station again. Wouldn't that be cool? So I'd say it's about a three-foot power cord right there and a real nice one. Got a fuse built in. And then we got the main event. Yeah, that's a well-wrapped, isn't it? Move this out of the way. So we got our bracket. Go ahead and get that out of the box, too. There we go. And then the main events, the main radio here, nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Go ahead and unwrap it. And isn't it funny, like I always say that the, uh, the radios that, uh, that I compare on this channel, new or used or whatever in between, I always compare them size-wise to Cobras. There's the 19, the 25, and the 29. 
Well, guess what? This is about Cobra 29 sized. <laughs> nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Last one I had did not have that in there either. So it's kind of got the Cobra emblem. Nice brushed, uh, like, a, what do they call that? Uh, powder coated, I believe, is that finish. It's like it got a metallic to it a little bit too. Bottom firing speaker. Of course, on the sides where our brackets go, you could mount it, uh, the bracket either under or over. And that, if you see the holes there, well, you can mount... You can mount your mic to that if you want to. Okay, so you can mount it onto your dash. You can mount it on there. On the back here, Cobra power right there. A PA speaker and, of course, an external speaker as well. Driving a truck, got a lot of noise coming through. You might want to be an external speaker. I've never really had a need for one. It's nice to have sometimes, but I usually find that these, these radios produce beautiful audio just the way they are. And, of course, our PL259, our antenna connector there. Model is CCP29LTNW. And then there's an FCC ID for it as well, and then some kind of a barcode. Cobra Electronics Corporation. All right, flip this booger around to the front. This is where all the fun is. This is where all the fun is. All right, four pin mic right there, which is nice. So some of the older ones had the uh, mics on the side. You know, you can tell Cobra, there's guys that collect 29s only, and they'll get like 50 different variations of these babies. And some of them are side-firing mics. I happen to like a mic that comes off the front. That way, if I want to mount this thing into the dashboard, I don't have to worry about that thing, you know, having, having to figure out a way out. So, personally, I like that. Nice brushed aluminum face here. And then chrome, very nice shiny chrome knobs, right? Channel select knob here. Push, it says. Oh, yeah, a little click. Push for AM and FM. That's cool. So, they really didn't have to modify a whole lot on the board. In order to change this up, that's really nice. SWR calibration. We got a dimmer. That's cool. And that's for our night watch. RF gain. Dynamic. That's our power mic or like built-in power mic type. Actually works really well. And then we've got squelch here and volume slash on off. All right. Signal reflective power. SWR calibration. Bode buttons are here, right? Calibrate. SWR and then regular power meter. We have off for our analog, um, <laughs> sorry, automatic noise limiter, and then we also have noise blanker, so you can do both or just automatic noise limiter. CB and PA. Tone control. I do love the fact they have tone control. Uh, depending on the ride you're in, you know, sometimes the speaker, especially if you do mount in the dash, you might not want to have the normal set because it might be too muffled or too deep. You put it to high. And then we do have channel 9, 19, and normal for our channel select. Lastly, rounding it out, our LED lights here. That's our channel select. We have RXTX, antenna warning light, and the good old-fashioned classic analog meter. I love those. All right, I'm dying to plug this thing in and see it lit up and go through some of this stuff. Maybe see if we can make some contacts. I don't know uh, how well things are playing out tonight, but we're going to give it a shot. What do you say? Let's do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I am really excited to be playing with this thing. A brand new Cobra 29 AM FM, and it's sitting on the bench. Well, without further ado, let us turn this thing on. And listen to that sound. The power mic is because they can't tune the radio. Yeah, yeah, they need a power mic, just like we got a Pixie Dust guy well let me go ahead and move off station there you can see our meter moving around here and of course apparently skip is running or i got somebody local talking to my ears tonight squelch control we can turn that up and cut out the nonsense right or we can turn it back down and hear it all very cool. SWR calibration, you can see the meters moving. We have it on signal and reflected power. And so that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll see if I can call out on channel 16. Break channel. Break channel for a radio check. Break channel for a radio check. I'm not hearing anything on the radio check, but that's okay. 
I'll give it one more try here. Brake channel. Brake channel for a radio check. Brake channel for a radio check on 16. Yeah, kind of a weak signal there, but we'll just move along. All right, we have dynamite control. I usually leave that about three quarters of the way up. RF gain here. We're going to crank that all the way to max. And then we have our dimmer. You can check it out. We dim this thing down real nice and pretty, or we can turn it way up. And if I turn it way up, you can kind of see. You see the green? Let me turn it way down. You see how all the green just disappeared? See that? Let me turn it all the way up again. All right. Let me go hit the lights for a second. You guys are going to like this. That's what I'm talking about, my friends. That is what I'm talking about. Check it out. Look at this beauty. Look at this. Right? We could turn it all oh, real nice and dim if we want to, or turn it almost all the way down so it hardly even lights up at all. Not going to disturb you while you're driving when it's this dim. If we turn it all the way up, though, it looks awfully nice in the studio. And guess what? This is going in the new studio. That's going to look good on the shelf, isn't it? Yep, that's a good talking radio. You can just tell by the way it looks. All right, let me hit the lights again. We'll go through some of the rest of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might be able to tell I'm enjoying myself here with this review. I have wanted to work with Cobra since I started this channel. Uh, there are a few radio companies that are out there that kind of rule the roost. You've got Cobra, you've got Uniden, and you've got President. And I've, I've owned a lot of all three of those radios. I'm super excited to be playing around with Cobra and with their 29. All right, lastly over here, we do have our SWR. If you're going to do an adjustment on your antenna or you want to install a new antenna, you can go through those right there. Now we have off automatic noise limiter and ANL. We'll go back up to 19 and hear that crazy fella. And, of course, the guys on 6 are always running way too much power. You can hear them bleeding over several stations. But let's move over to... There's 35. You can see the noticeable reduction when I uh, do do switch around there. And, of course, normal. We go to normal. We go to channel 19, or 9. And then we move up to channel 19. Move on back right. down. So we have our SWR calibration here. If you're going to install a new antenna or you're setting this up in a car for the first time, you're going to want to go through your SWR calibration for sure. Let me turn that down a bit so you're not hearing that over me. Then lastly over here, uh, we do have our tone high and low. We played with that a little bit at the beginning with that guy talking on 19. It's a great way if you got it mounted in the car to hear that. Let's go up. There's our channel 9. There's 19. Right now, 19's a mess, you know. We got Skip rolling in, plus there's the trucker channel, you know. So you get a lot of conversation on that. Lastly, and this is where the Cobra 29 is brand new, AM, FM. So I push down. You can see the little light has lit up. And now we're in FM mode. FM mode, not that popular yet. But here's what I want to listen to. You hear that? Right? Now I press it again. And it's gone. That's why I feel like FM mode is finally going to come into its own. This guy is talking up a storm, playing music, doing whatever on channel 28. 28 sometimes gets rowdy around here. Well, I don't hear it. Like, yeah, you can kind of catch a little bit in the background, but if I want to have a conversation on FM, I can have a conversation on FM. This guy's not going to interrupt me. Click back over. And I can have a conversation if I choose to. That, my friends, is why FM will catch on. That is why it's worth investing in a radio that does have FM. Because as the solar cycle continues to go up, and we're not even at peak yet, so some of the, some of the static, some of the stuff you're hearing tonight that sounds a little bit garbled, it, it's what can make CB the most fun when you're talking and using it as a hobby, when you're talking DX, you're talking long range, 
But it's also the same stuff that can drive you a bit crazy when you're trying to talk local. Well, having the option to press a button and hop on over to the FM side of things is going to take care of a lot of that problem when it comes to local talk. Now, I said this is going to become a centerpiece in the new studio. This is going to be the premier FM rig for the new studio. I really appreciate Cobra working with me on this. Always wanted one. Love, love that glow-in-the-dark faceplate. It's really, really cool. It just adds something special to the radio. And, of course, when you're talking about a Cobra 29, you know it's a quality product. You, I mean, these things wouldn't have been on the market for the last 35, 40 years. Gosh, it's probably been even longer than that now. Somebody will have to tell me when the first 29 came out. I've owned at least a dozen of these things over the years, and there are people out there who literally collect just 29s. Well, guess what, folks? There's a new 29 to collect right here. Now, they offer this in AM, FM mode on the 29 the 29 LTD, uh, the 29 Nightwatch LTD, and of course they also have the uh, newfangled looking one, you know, the one that's got the digital screen. I can't remember what that one's called, but it's also now available in FM mode. And I hope to work with Cobra again on some of those other products. I'll bring them to you. And for this one, I will leave a link to where you can pick one of these up. And I hope you will support my channel by supporting the people that choose to work with me. Till next time, my friends, take care.